Please be homage to the Buddha. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambhog dasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambhog dasa Namo dasa Bhagavato Arahado Sama Zambhogdhasa Now we have a some other question again. So the first question. Why there is light in the Aropa Jhana? Is this correct? Where does the light come from? Every consciousness which arises depending on meditators heart pace produces uncountable mind bonglabas. This is natural. Whether this mind is sensual mind such as excess concentration or vipassana inside, or five material jhana mind, such as first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, and fourth jhana, or immaterial jhana, such as the base of boundless jhana consciousness, or the base of Boundless consciousness, jhana, or the base of nothingness, jhana, or the base of neither perception nor no perception, jhana. These four types of jhanas, the base of boundless surface, jhana, the base of boundless consciousness, jhana, the base of Nandainas jhana in the base of neither perception nor non-perception jhana. These four types of jhanas are called immaterial jhana arubha jhana. But usually they produce their raza in arubha play, immaterial play. Because of this reason, they are called Aruba Jhana, Immaterial Jhana. Although they usually rise, eh, usually produce this, their own Raja in eh, Immaterial Play, they can also rise in Human World, they can also rise in Deva World, or they can also rise in Prime Material World, depending on Meditator's Heart Face. When they are rising in human world or deva world or prime material brahma world, then jhana consciousness can produce my bonglabas. One jhana consciousness, my movement, can produce uncountable my bonglabas. If you analyze those calabas, in each calabas there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types there is kala. That kala is luminous and bright. One calabas kala and another calabas kala, they rise very closely to each other. Because of this reason, Especially around your heart base, there is light of wisdom. But this light of wisdom is spread through all meditators' body. Again, in those mind-bone glabas, in each mind-bone glaba, there is wood temperature, fire element. That temperature also can produce uncountable temperature bone glabas, not only internally but also externally. When this temperature bungalow bus spread externally, raw meditators body, 
Then there, there is also the light of wisdom around meditator's body. Do you think Arubhajana is immaterial jhana? That jhana cannot produce my bone club. Do you think? So it will be wrong perception. Hmm? Although it is usually produced, it is rather in immaterial brain. But when they rise, depending on heart based in human war, they were war or in prime material war, they can produce my bone clubbers. And again, from those my bone clubbers, the temperature bone clubbers also can rise. Then the next question. In the Samatha meditation, can we go from First to second jhana, second to third jhana, third to fourth jhana, without checking the jhana factors. My meditation teacher said can check the jhana factors after third jhana during the practice of metta jhana. If so, how to do it and what are the important things to pay attention to? For beginners, hmm? They must try to make sure whether this is actually Fajjana or not, whether this is actually Sagin Jana or not, whether this is actually that Jana or not. Such type of procedure is for those who are experts, especially when practicing for sex power or when practicing we Vipassana, especially in Sankarupaka Jnana stage. While Brandes and Vipassana in Sankarupaka Jnana stage, if they want to contemplate again and again, only just put Jnana Dhammas. They can re-establish put Jnana again and again, and then contemplate put Jnana Dhammas as Anicca, Dhoka, and Nanda. Again, this re-establish both jhana, then they can contemplate this both jhana again and again. Without going back to five jhana, second jhana, and third jhana, they can directly contemplate both jhana dhammas for a long time. But at the beginning, they must contemplate five jhana, they must re-establish Fajjana and imagine from Fajjana they must, they must contemplate Fajjana Dhammas according to Jhana mental process as nature or Dhoga or Nanda. Then they should re-establish second Jhana. Imagine from second Jhana they should contemplate second Jhana Dhammas according to mental process. And then contemplate them as Nicha Dhoga Nanda. Then they should also re-establish that jhana. Imagine from that jhana, they should contemplate that jhana dhammas according to mental process. And then contemplate that jhana dhammas. After that, if they, they can re-establish, they re should re-establish both jhana. Imagine from both jhana, they should contemplate both jhana dhammas according to mental process as nature, dhoka, or nada. If they want to contemplate this both jhana again and again, it is possible. So, again, for those who are practicing for sex power or who are practicing actually sex power, they can repeat only both jhana again and again also possible. But you should not compare with those experts. They also can do, and can also do. Oh, <laughs> then this is for beginners, not so good, not accurate. If you do like that, then your jhana also will be not accurate, and then your concentration also will decrease day by day. Then you cannot see the reality or materiality and materiality up to the Paramatta stage clearly. In each my jhana, my movement, there are 
different types of mental formations, such as 34 mental formations or 32 mental formations or 31 mental formations, etc. With the enough concentration, if you discern those mental formations, you cannot see clearly. This is one problem. In the same way, while discerning materiality also, you may not be able to discern materiality clearly and very, very quickly because your concentration is not yet deep enough. So please practice according to the systematic way because you are just beginner. If you jump here and there, then your concentration will decrease. In the same way, when practicing meta meditation, you must also try to make sure whether you had already attained meta jhana or not. Because at that time, nobody forgot the meta. For example, taking one meditator as meditation object, you sent meta. You may attain already attain first jhana or second jhana or third jhana, if you can practice systematically. But whether this is actually first jhana or not, how you can differentiate? From excess concentration to jhana concentration. So at that time, nobody forgot Nimida. So because of this reason, whether you had already a day made up first jhana or not, it is not easy. And then, whether you had already added meta second jhana or not, it is also not easy. If you design jhana pedas or if you check jhana pedas without that jhana, whether this is actually that jhana or not, it is not easy for beginners to differentiate. Because of this reason, in every case, even Buddha also, Reflect jhana pedas. So because of this reason, you are not Buddha. So you should not don't care about Buddha's teaching. You are only just beginner. As a beginner, if you don't care Buddha's teaching, this is a great problem for your attainment. This is a great obstacle. So please don't be without respectful mind to the Buddha's teaching. So you should practice according to Buddha's teaching and according to commentaries, explanation. It is safe for you. So the next question. When we develop loving kindness towards, for example, an, a respectable person with one of the four phrases, May this good person be free from danger. Repeatedly, we recite this phrase. Do we continue to bear this thought after we have entered the first jhana and so on? If so, is the jhana considered pure? One bright day, meditation, taking respectable dear person. Then the jhana is considered pure. You must contemplate at the beginning. May this good person be free from danger. May this good person be free from danger, etc. But middle meditation is a little bit difficult. A little bit difficult means you must create that the respectable person is while you are practicing meta meditation, he is not in your present. He may be somewhere very far away from you. And then, then you must create his or her image in front of you. And then you must focus that face or that whole body, that person's whole body. One focus the object is actually your mimic. You create this object. 
To because of this reason, that object may disappear for beginners frequently. Then you must create again, and then may disappear. Because of this reason, in Medda, Karaniya, Medda, Sauta, there are 500 bhikkhus. Buddha teaches Medda in different way. What is the different way? These 500 bhikkhus, they learn meditation subjects under the guidance of the Buddha directly. They practice Samatha and Vipassana diligently up to Uriya Bhya Jnana stage. At that time, they went to Himalaya searching for Vosa. Rains retreat for three months. At the time, they specialized ten casinos in eight adamants. Based on this casino jhanas, they practiced vipassana diligently. But according to traditional way of teaching, there are four meditation subjects which are compulsory for every meditator. Number one, Buddha knows the regulation of Buddha's quality. Number two, Medha, loving kindness meditation. Number three, Marana Sati or Marana knows the regulation of each of death. Number four, Asuva meditation, fullness meditation. While practicing Samatha or while practicing Vipassana, occasionally meditators might not be bigger, happy. There will be no happy feeling. At that day, that meditator will not be able to concentrate well on his or her meditation object. At that day, Buddha encouraged to practice Buddha knows the regulation of Buddha's quality. This is one reason. Another reason is there may be some disturbances like Yakas may disturb it or Devas may disturb it, etc. To protect such dangers, also Buddha permit to practice Buddha knows the meditation. Sometimes the meditator may be fearful while practicing alone in the forest. At that time also Buddha permit to practice Buddha Nusri meditation, regulation of Buddha's quality meditation. Again, Medda Bhaveda Bhavyavada Sabahanaya while practicing samatha or while practicing vipassana occasionally, ill will or anger may disturb to meditators mind. At that time, to remove this ill will or anger, the meditators should practice metta meditation, loving kindness meditation. This loving kindness meditation will Remove this ill will or anger. Again, Asuba Bhaveda Bharagasa Bahanaya. While practicing Samatha or while practicing Vipassana, meditators may occasionally some attachments may arise in meditators' mind. Some attachment may visit to meditators mind. At that day, Asuba Bhaveda Bharagasa Bahanaya. To destroy or to remove this attachment, a meditator should practice Asuba meditation, fullness meditation. There are two types of fullness meditation, Asuba meditation. Anime and in animate. In animate, asuba meditation is taking 
a dead body or dead corpse as meditation object, in meditation must contemplate as a rebirth set. But male meditator must take male dead body as meditation object. Female meditator must take female dead body as meditation object when practicing samatha. But when practicing vipassana, it is not necessary to distinguish like that. Vipassana procedure and samatha procedure is not same. Samatha procedure is when practicing samatha asuba for a demon of pajana, they must take as meditation object, only one dead corpse. Female meditator must take female dead corpse as meditation object. Male meditator must take male med, uh, dead corpse as meditation object, and they should pay attention as rebirth. Up to the edema of jhana. One bright day say, for the edema of jhana, when they see the dead corpse bigger, padi bhaga nimeda kaunda bhaksai. At the day, the dead, co- dead corpse bigger, a dead body lying down with a nap put, which he had already eaten and sleeping. So, meaning is that that cop at the body bhaga nimeda says bigger, a little bit beautiful, but that the attachment may arise. That attachment is the danger one day book. Kame chanda nivrana sensual desire hindrance. So that hindrance will prohibit to act for the edema of jhana. Because of this reason, male meditator must take male dead corpse as meditation object. Female meditator must take female dead corpse as meditation object. The another meditation subject is Marana Sati. Recollection of their own death. But I had to explain how Ajual Marana Sati is usual practice. Ajual Marana Sati, Marana No Sati meditation is you must try the complete and the cessation of your both life faculties. Materiality, life faculty, and mentality, life faculty, and the death consciousness, my moment. But for beginners to see such two types of life faculties, cessation not easy, because they did not yet penetrate that the Paramata Dhamma. For such meditators, usually we teach. The sensation of going up my street, going up my door. Roughly they can see the luminous going up my door inside their body. When that is ready, and the death consciousness is ready at the day, this going up my door also sees. The sensation of this going up my door taken as meditation object. The meditator also can practice Marnasati meditation. Such type of teaching is not directly mentioned in the Bali text. But for beginners, we teach like that because metaphorically, this Bhunga Mindu, last Bhunga Bhunga Mindu, luminous bright light inside the heart, is also called Bhunga Mindu according to Sautanta Mata. Because of this reason, we teach like that. But one day, if they can practice to see materiality like faculty and mentality like faculty, other than also if they again practice Maranasati meditation, it is better. So this Maranasati meditation Buddha teaches 
to make to arouse sense of spiritual urgency. For example, tonight, maybe about eight o'clock, we all will attend together. Then we can destroy huge chaplains. Tomorrow we must do such and such work. Can you destroy these few chaplains? Because we are sure to die on the 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. this night. Can you destroy two chaplains? Yes, so because of this reason, uh, I want to destroy. Please learn. This as Maranasati uh, meditation, then few chaplains will disappear. Buddha also already understood his disciples' attitude. Uh, she has some attitude to disrupt, or oh, he, this Samnera has some attitude to disrupt, this Begu has some attitude to disrupt, he also understood. So, so to prohibit such intention, Buddha teaches this Marana Nosri meditation. So because of this reason, these four types of meditation subjects, Number one, Buddha Nosati. Number two, Medha, loving kindness meditation. Number three, Asuba, fullness meditation. Number four, Marana Sati. Marana Nosati. We call it now their own death meditation. These four meditation subjects protect the meditator because of this reason they are called protective meditation. Chatura Rekha meditation or sabha meditation. In every case, they are necessary. So these 500 bhikkhus, they also practice this four protective meditations, but they do not emphasize a lot. They emphasize 10 gasinas and 8 adimates. Based on these gasina jhanas, they practice vipassana, abdu, udiya, bhya, jnana, stage. When they arrive to Himalaya, they saw one forest, not very far away from village, where they can go for arms row. So they choose to stay in that forest, but they was disturbed. When they was disturbed, they go back to the Buddha and ask where they should take Musa. At the time, Buddha trying to see their nature. Maybe Sabe, hmm? Buddha trying Sabe. But Buddha saw only if they bright this in that forest, they will be Araha in this Vosa. So Buddha encouraged to go back there and yeah? teach us Medha Sauda, Karaniya Medha Sauda. According to Karaniya Medha Sauda, they bright this Medha Meditation. Based on Medha meditation, they should practice Vipassana. How to practice, Buddha also teaches them. Previously, their compulsory meditation subject is casinas. Now, Buddha changed Medha meditation as compulsory meditation subject. So, at that time, these Bhikkhus, they had already practiced Medha Jhana before. Because of this reason, based on Kasina, if they again practice Medha meditation, their Medha becomes very powerful. What is the reason? For example, why Kasina? Hmm? Then why Kasina put Jana produce such a powerful light? With the essence of the power of that light of which, huh? if you focus meditation objects such as all beings, hmm? then this object will not disappear because of the decisive supporting cause of previous white casina fourth jhana. White casina fourth jhana is decisive supporting cause for the sasi day meta meditation. Because of the power of the fourth white casina jhana, if meditate again, Concentrate well on his meditation object or her meditation object. Maybe in Kaniya Medha Sauda Buddha teaches 
สุขินโอวะคือมีโนหดุสวะสัตตาพดุสุขิดาดาที่สุดบิกินีโอเมดาสัตตาเมดาเมดิเดชน์ทุกอันนั้นคือสัจจะสวะสัตตาสุขินโอวะคือมีโนหดุสวะสัตตาพดุสุขิดาดาสวะสัตตา all beings อิมเมดิเดชน์มัสโฟกัสอันนั้น all beings อบจักที่นี้ this object will not disappear because of the power of s u b p o r t i n g cause, which is what, which is the, for example, white casino, p o r t c h a n a Any casino is can be decisive supporting cause. Because of this reason, usually we also teach us if a m e d i t a t o wants to practice m e d i m e d i t a t i o n first they should re-establish. White casino, p o t c h a n a or light casino, p o t c h a n a or any casino, p o t c h a n a Imagine from that p o t c h a n a they should focus on dear and respective person. At that time, this dear and respective person image will not disappear be, very quickly. What is the reason? Because the Why casino jana or like casino jana or one casino japot jana can be the decisive supporting cause for the meta meditation. Because of this reason, this meditators meta meditation of the such as dia and respective person will not disappear very quickly. Other than the meditator can focus on that image. You know, that object, eh? Saint m e d a at that time, whether he had already a d a i n e m e d a f a j a n a or not, he g a t another because of previous experience. At that time, he should already check j a n a p a d a s After reviewing j a n a p a d a s if a meditator wants to go to second j a n a at that time. They should put their mind, or according to this question, they should continue to bear this thought in their mind, but don't recite. May this good person be free from danger. May this good person be free from danger, etc. In this way, don't recite. What is the reason? The reason is. วิจักวิจารวจีวจีสังขารวิจักเอวิจารกิมโปรจูสบาเบลเอชิมบาเบลพอมิชั่น so although you make no sound mentally you recite this is also one type of babel เอชิ the reciting produced by วิจักวิจาร or the consciousness Which is headed by w i d e g a w i c h a r a produce this b a b e l a s h i n Because of this reason, w i d e g a w i c h a r a will not disappear. Although you had already a d i n t i f i j a n a while going to second j a n a if you still continue to recite mentally, then you cannot a d i n t i f i second j a n a Because of this w i d e g a w i c h a r a So at that time, you should. Be a in your mind this formula or this thought only just be a and then with such intention you should focus that meditation object only. And then, then whether you had already a d i n e second jhana or not, please check your jhana p a t t e r s And then, then only you will understand or I had already a d i n e second jhana or not. Then again, if you want to go to that jhana. In the same way, you should be a this formula in your mind only. You should not mentally recite. If you recite, w i t h e g a w i c h a r a will come back. Because of this reason, for beginners, they should make sure whether I had already a d i n g f i r s j a n a or second j a n a or third j a n a whether. Checking this j a n a p a d a s if they b r i g h t this only when they arrive, if they check j a n a p a d a s when they arrive up to that j a n a it is not so good. It will be not so clear. Maybe 
If that meditator does not understand about the meaning of Udaga Vichara, then that meditator may again continue to recite this formula up to that channel. This is also a great problem. Because of this reason, when practicing meta meditation, you should practice systematically, it is better. But later, when you become expert in practicing meta meditation, you can do very, very quickly, no much problem. But for beginners, they should practice systematically and review jhana pedas systematically, it is better. Next question. A meditator who has already practiced the four elements meditation, when he redo the Anapanasati meditation, Kalapas always appear. What should he do? Usually such meditators, we teach especially to descend that they do both of body both internally and externally. At the day, when descending 32 bars of body, both internally and externally, some meditators can see 32 bars of body clearly. At the day, they should continue to descend 32 bars of body, both internally and externally, at least for three or four days. Then slowly, their mind will become settled down. They will not see calabas. However, some meditators, one descending that they do both of body, all begin clubbers. At the day, usually we teach them asuba meditation. Taking a fresh dead cox, because our monastery is close to symmetry. When you Dead cops come. Then I teach them, please go there and see this dead cops. So the object is very cross. Because of this reason, they can concentrate well. And then the dead cops easily will not be a club. At the day, they should practice this meditation for two or three days. When dead cops begin actually Rebatship. Other than this, you practice up to the attainment of jhana. If it is not possible, occasionally I teach them to penetrate the skeleton of that dead corpse. If they gain this skeleton of that corpse, then they should contemplate that skeleton as a rebatship next. Addition. Other than they can be addition this Skalada as a rebirth They should break this up to the edema of jhana stage. At the day, they should maintain this jhana at least two or three days or maybe about one week. Then slowly they are my will begin used to do see concept pinyadi, solid objects. At the day, Usually we teach again to this uh, 32 parts of body again, okay, both internally and externally. Other than they may be able to design 32 parts of body, both internally and externally. This designing of 32 parts of body, this should also practice at least two or three days. After that only, usually we teach skeletal meditation. As meditation object, yeah, then pay attention as a rebirth penance. Taking his or her own skeleton as meditation object. If they break this rebirth penance attention, then they get a day of the fajana. If they pay attention the external skeleton as rebirth penance attention, they may a day of the Excess concentration stage. If the skeleton is animate skeleton, but if the skeleton is an animate skeleton, they can add also for jhana. It is possible. 
After the, they should continue to practice this skeleton meditation. She taking different persons skeleton as meditation object. Whenever and wherever they be addition, they are, they be addition, they see skeleton and they should be addition as reverse. Then at the day, the whole world will become full of skeleton. At the time, usually we did that meditative day Each time in front of one yogi is skeleton, especially the saga, taking the saga as meditation object. This will brightness, repulsiveness, attention, meditation for a few minutes. When this saga begins white, at the time they should pay attention as white. When white object appear as a Translucent and bright, and for some meditators, full absorption also may rise for a few seconds or a few minutes. At the day, they should expand this white casino circle up to infinite universe. After that, we teach usually, taking this white casino as meditation object to a day, first jana, second jana, third jana, and fourth jana. Then usually we teach the remaining 10 casinos up to fourth jhana. After that, we teach immediate jhana, the loving kindness meditation, metta meditation, compassion, karuna meditation, sympathetic joy, mudita meditation, equanimity, ubaka meditation. After that, Buddha knows the Marana knows the Asuba again. And then only usually we teach Vipassana again. But if they want to bring this Anabana again, and then, then usually we teach Anabana. So many does okay. Can bring this Anabana at that day. But so many does, because of previous practice, they see Nimeda as a Kalapa. At that day, we teach us them. Please relax your mind. Don't pay attention to see Kalaba. Just relax. Some meditators are successful. Some are not successful. No problem. They can practice other jhanas. Then based on these jhanas, if they practice, we both in the system medically one day, depending on their barami, they may realize Nibbana. At that day, if they are they can re-establish their approach and they again and again. If they also already satisfy, at that time, if they go back to Anabana meditation, it is also possible. Usually we do it in, this, in different ways. Only next question. What are the necessary practices Included in the four protective meditations, what are the important points of practicing four protective meditation? Anything to add? In ancient days, huh? if they want to practice mega meditation, they practice this um, this mega meditation for a long time. For a long time means how long? Maybe for some meditators they practice like Benariva Wisaka, they practice meta meditation throughout his life up to the academy of hostage. Benariva Subudi also specialized this um, this meta meditation up to the hostage. But while practicing this metta meditation, loving kindness meditation. If they had practiced other samatha meditation subjects, it is better. But like Benariva Subhuti or like Benariva Vishaka, they directly emphasize metta meditation only. This is also possible because they had an me to practice metta jhana. Because of this reason, it depends on the meditator's parami eh, ability. 
If they can practice Vedha meditation without breathing, Kasina cannot. If they had already, if they can already attain Vedha jhana, it is also okay, good. But Kasina is not necessary at that time. But for many meditators, when they are practicing Vedha meditation directly, at that time they cannot concentrate well on their meditation object. For such meditators, casino meditation is necessary. While practicing meta meditation, they should not be addition opposite sex. If they be addition opposite sex as meditation object, then attachment will arise. This is one type of hindrance. Again, they should also not be addition dear rest ones, very dear ones, such as mother, father, wife, husband, etc. Because worry about this meditation object will appear. This worry also one type of ill will. It will be one type of hindrance. It will disturb to your meditation mind. Then another important thing is that pacha. If your mother or your father or your friend pass away or your wife pass away or your husband pass away. And that day you always said better do that dead person. You cannot edit jhana. This story is mentioned in a commentary. One day, one Samarira is practicing Medha meditation. How long? He practiced Medha meditation for a long time. He cannot for maybe range retreat three months. He cannot edit Medha jhana. Then his teacher teaches him to check that meditation object, whether that meditation object is still alive or not. When he checks, he takes his teacher, his maybe previous teacher, his previous teacher, Ubijaya, as meditation object. He sent Medha, but he cannot attend Jana. When he checks again whether his Ubijaya is still alive or not, at that time he understands his Ubijaya already passed away. So because of this reason, the object is dead body. Then he did it again or a day, Medha Jana. Because of this reason, this Medha meditation object must be still alive. The enemy hatred. For beginners, if they Focus on hatred person. It is not easy for beginners to add the meditation because frequently anger may arise in meditator's mind. Because of this reason, they should not pass pay addition hatred person. After they have already practiced taking dear person neutral person as meditation object and then they had already adding jhanas. And then, then if they practice meta meditation they gain hatred person as meditation object it is possible. But in every case same sex is necessary. If they send opposite sex then attachment may disturb to meditator's mind. But as a general Sabi Sada, Sabi Bana, or Sabi Idhyo, Sabi Burisa, all men, all women, it is okay. Not only one specific person. These are the necessary practices included in the four productive meditations. What are the important points? These are important points. Hmm? Importance is operating for productive meditation. Eh? I had explained. Next question. Light appears during meditation, but it always maintained at a not very bright stage. What is the reason and how to overcome this? Concentration is not yet deep enough because of the reason the image or the light of wisdom is not very bright. 
Another reason is usually such meditators they practice for a long time. At the day they frequently investigate their light of wisdom, whether the light of wisdom is very bright or not, or Nimitta is very bright or not. Such type of investigating may also one type of hindrance because this is Dhamma Vichya. Hmm? When Dhamma Vichya enlightenment Pada Alpha enlightenment Pada and join PD enlightenment Pada bigger excessive concentration will decrease. When concentration decreases, the light of wisdom also will decrease. You know, bright, well. At the time, they should emphasize Pasadi tranquility, enlightenment pada, samadhi concentration, enlightenment pada, and upaka, equanimity, enlightenment pada. These three enlightenment padas are very important to increase concentration, to make the concentration increase, improve. When concentration improves, at that time, they should maintain this concentration for a long time. Frequently, they should not investigate whether the light of wisdom is very bright or not, whether Nimida is very bright or not, etc. Investigate the mind, please. Reduce investigate the mind. If they frequently investigate any Samatha Nimida or the light of wisdom, then it is your concentration will decrease. When concentration decrease, Nimeda also will not become bright. The light of wisdom also not will become bright. Another problem is doubt, which you get check, whether it is true, real Nimeda or no. <laughs> real light of wisdom or no. Maybe this is external light or no. Such type of investigation also not so good. So just focus on your meditation object for deeper and deeper concentration. When concentration becomes deeper and deeper, then all problems will disappear. To cultivate concentration, one needs to focus on an object for a long period of time. Does this include those meditation objects other than the 40 types of Samatha objects taught by Buddha? If so, can one attain jhana using other meditation objects? Eight attainments and five mundane psychic powers. Do you think it's impossible? Do you think? <laughs> if you think, then you should try to possess sabi nyuta jnana only knowledge. It is better. Other than that, only you can do competition with Buddha's teaching. <laughs> because Buddha teaches only for the Samatha meditation subjects for his disciples. So, other than for the meditation subjects, there are also another meditation subjects for the Edema of Jhana. It is maybe, we cannot say easily, but it is usually impossible. For example, in one Sutta, Buddha teaches Anabana meditation. Only in the, this Buddha's dispensation, a meditator can practice Anabana while up to fourth jhana. This is mentioned. So even Anabana meditation also not easy to attain jhana outside Buddha's dispensation. But there is one famous story in Hindu, Hinduism. Rama Krishna Mino. What is Rama Krishna? In Varanasi, 
there is a famous Hindu temple. In that Hindu temple, Ramakrishna is a waka who must clean the temple and look after the temple. But he practices anapana meditation. According to their own rapport, hmm, their own idea, he had already a day of the second jhana. One day, we will get Nanda. This is one security in Kalaganda University. He heard this news. So he went to Varanasi and approached to the Ramakrishna. He also learned under the Ramakrishna how to practice Anabana meditation. According to their own idea, he, he had also added Abdul Sakin Jana. This is in ancient times when English governed the whole nearly Asia, including India, Burma, Malaysia, etc. At that day, there was a conference in Chicago in America for, for religious practices. That Uwegananda went to that conference, but he was not invited by committee members. So he approached some Asians. At that day, Acharya Dhamabala from Sri Lanka. At that day, he was a famous teacher in Tirawara Buddhism. He was invited by that conference. So, for each person, they gave only 10 minutes to talk in that conference. At that day, he approached to the Nagariga Dhammapala. Then Dhammapala gave five minutes from his ten minutes. Within five minutes, he impliedly speaks about his meditation practice. So one million American lady of about 10 million. <laughs> so because of the reason, he re-established Ramakrishna Mission Society in India and through all Hindu world and all over the world. So it became very famous. Actually, they already said they had already added second jhana. But according to Buddha's teaching, it is also impossible even Anabana. So some meditation subjects are more difficult. But in ancient days, when our Bodhisattva renounced our other day in India, there are many Samatha meditation subjects. Our Bodhisattva also approached to the Alara in Udaga. They teach to our Bodhisattva. One teacher teaches to our Bodhisattva Abdul, seventh Chavana, maybe the base of nothingness Chana. Another teaches to our Bodhisattva Abdul, the base of neither perception nor no perception Chana. At that time, our Bodhisattva understood this is not the deathless state. So he don't, he, he didn't, he searched again for deathless state in Uruvela for six years. Because of the unwholesome karma which he had committed to the Kasava Buddha, prohibited to him, he practiced the wrong practice for six years. After six years later, his practice, his karma finished. So at that time, he go to Medjima, Bhattivita, to the middle part. Maybe for two or three weeks. One day, when Energy also became very powerful. He had also confidence or not faith in him. Today I will add a self-enlightened Buddhahood. So he went to the body tree and sat under the body tree and practiced system and legally samatha and vipassana again. Then he had become already self-enlightened Buddha, Samasam Buddha. So, 
Outside Buddha's dispensation, in those days there are also teachers who can teach Ajaxo Jhana Academy. But these practices are almost similar to Buddha's teaching of Dinkasina Academy. But other teachings, except this body meditation subject, we cannot, we cannot understand whether they are true practices or not. It is not easy to say because we had not yet already studied their practices all. But Buddha teaches only Samatha meditation subject. Bodhi Samatha meditation subject. Then you should practice this body. It is better. If you want to practice more than body, <laughs> it will take a long time. Hmm? Sado, so usually outside Buddha's dispensation, they, they practice kasina only, not, not anapana. Outside Buddhist, outside Buddha's dispensation. Maybe they, because in those days they are, for example, clear evidence is jidda or kala devila is. Kala devila is, is the teacher of Kaiso Dodana, when he began, or oh, other than he take permission from the Kaiso Dodana, eh? he practiced the Samadha in his Kaiso Dodana's garden, royal garden. Because Kaiso Dodana uh, take permission from this issue to stay in his royal garden. So he also gave agreement. He practiced Samatha there diligently and he already had a quite mundane check power. Day day, usually he visit to Daurinsa to stay there, day quarter day. Neither only he going down to human world. So because of this reason, there are many issues who can practice jhana and who can practice check power. So they, their practice is similar to our Buddha's practice or not. It is not easy to say, but think Zinas may be similar to our Buddha's teaching. For a meditator who has no jhana, and for one who has jhana, how should he efficiently cultivate metta, karuna, mudita, and upeka? If they practice Medha, Gruna, Mudita, and Ubaka by reciting mentally, this is also they are accumulating Hoswa Gamma. But this Hoswa Gamma, not high class Hoswa Gamma like Medha Jana, Gruna Jana, Mudita Jana, and Ubaka Jana. But they can accumulate Hoswa Gamma. But within Buddha's dispensation, if they want to practice Medha, Kruna, Mudita, and Ubaka meditations, they should practice according to Buddha's teaching. It is better. If they get had already a day, if they get already a day, Chana, it is better. But if they don't want to practice the other day, what all? It also very weak. Varia Epa also very weak. Mindfulness also very weak. Concentration also very weak. Wizard also very weak. These five faculties are uh, improve the begin power. That power can carry up to the edema of Nibbana. But when these five faculties begin very weak, they cannot and then any higher achievement. So because of this reason, if they want to practice Medha, Gruna, Mudita, and Ubaka, according to Buddha's instruction, if they practice, it is better. Up to the attainment of different kind of state. For example, I had to explain, eh? if a Medita had already practiced white casino, for example, Abdu Pogchana or Legacy Abdu Pogchana. 
In every city, they should re-establish this port channel. Imagine from that port channel, they should practice Medha, Abdu-Dajana, Kruna, Abdu-Dajana, Morida, Abdu-Dajana. And then they should practice Ubeka. This is system. But if they have no jhana, if they have the parami like Benariva, Subudi, and Benariva, Wisaka, then they can also practice Medha Abdu, the Edemi of Jhana. If they had already Edemi Medha Jhana, they can continue to practice Kruna, Mudida, and Ubaka Abdu, the Jhana. It is also possible. Okay. So, next question. To concentrate for two hours or three hours, does shadow mean entering absorption concentration for two or three hours? For a meditator whose concentration has not reached to this level yet, what is the level of concentration he needs to achieve before he can proceed to next level? If the meditator has no enough time, if she or he has many responsibilities for her, or for his family. Frequently they are ready to go back, to go back, to go back again, 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 again. For such meditators, one hour also okay with this, but concentration is not so good. One design ultimate materiality, one design ultimate mentality, they do not see clearly. Some materials they can see clearly, but while practicing dependent origination, they have a lot of difficulties because concentration is not yet deep enough. But some materials, maybe like Sogda Vipassana Yaniga, Pure Vipassana Bhigalas, they have no channel, but they can practice diligently after the attainment of Arhatri. Such medida is also possible. So because of this reason, this reason, for many months, Randa only, we teach us at least two or three hours only. Occasionally, maybe about one hour also, for some medida may be okay, but for some medida may be not okay. So it depends on their parami and their ability only. We need to have mindfulness on our meditation object throughout the day. In this case, how to do metta, the common one, if there is a need for us to do so? To do it at the beginning of every sitting? I also have the thing. We need to have mindfulness on our meditation. Let's say we are doing anapana. So, Whole, whole day we have to concentrate on Anapana. But now there's a need, a special reason maybe we need to do Metta for someone. How to do Metta? Ordinary Metta, not, not special Metta. To do it at the beginning of every sitting? Maybe if necessary. Um, if necessary, my being very lazy. And then they should practice. While practicing Anabana, for example, they may become very lazy, begin bored, don't want to practice, they want to disrupt. Then at the day, they should practice Marnasati. Occasionally, while practicing such and such meditation, but they are my you know, feel happy feeling. And then, then they should practice Buddha, no recollection no of Buddha's quality, etc. So then they may be, anger may disrupt their mind, and then they should practice Metta meditation. Sometimes attachment may disrupt to their meditation, and then they should practice Asuba. So, when necessary, they should practice. But usually, for many meditators, we suggest 
At the beginning, they should practice Buddha Nutri for a few minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, etc. After that, maybe they can practice as a general meta meditation for a few minutes. After that, they should continue to practice their original meditation subject. At least one day, once within one sitting, early morning or evening. In this way, we suggest them. Now the next question. When practicing metta, karana, and mudita using sabbe sata as object, some meditators focus on space. Some meditators focus on knowing the mind of sabbe sata. Some meditators focus on all beings. Can Sarah explain which one is correct? That one is correct. Huh? Some meditators focus on all beings as far as they can. Hmm? Because Medha, Krona, Mudita's object is beings. If they can focus on beings' object, it is better. Hmm. But all beings, this is as a general usage only. And all over the world, how many beings are there, we cannot calculate. So not necessary. As far as they can, they must focus on many beings, including animals, health beings, animals and health beings, and pedas, devas, brahmas, human beings, etc. Now there's a question on four elements. I heard that one can use the four elements meditation to cure cancer. Is this true? What is the process like? It depends on their karma only. Some diseases are produced by previous karma. Some are produced because of safe plane. Or some are produced because of bad pain. Hmm? So when the bile cannot work well. At that time also there may be diseases. Inside bile, there are many stones for some person. At that time their bile cannot work. It is to the well. At that time also there may be disease. For some medid some persons say my plain is a lot. Even our Buddha also one day a lot plain. He forgot. The physician he want to remove this plain. So at the time, his medicine is very simple. Simple means he prepared lotus flower, what called leaf, one, 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 one lotus flower, better. Huh? Mm -hmm. He prepared with his medicine and then offered to the Buddha to, what, to inhale, huh? mm -hmm. to inhale. So, and then the Buddha do inhale and then a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> because the Buddha's body is very subtle, very gentle. Because of the reason, he don't want to give cross medicine. Very gentle medicine. Then, maybe more than 30 times, maybe, eh? I forget. Diary, after diarrhea, he went to inform to the Buddha, please stop. But he forget. So, because of this, other than Buddha also understood his intention. So, Buddha, after more than 30 years' time, the Buddha stopped to early. Mm. So, because of pain also, there may be problems, some problems. So, at the day, we should search which is the cause. If karma, if the, the, the cause of disease is karma, as long as karma is still working, then we cannot prohibit. It is not easy, but 
Because of plain, and when plain disappear, then it will be pure. Because of the buying, the, if buying is pure, then it will be finished. So because of this reason, what is the disease? For some meditators, for some persons, maybe because of imbalance of four elements, there may be disease. If it is other than they should try to make balance the four elements only. Or they should try to make balance. Sometimes mindful galabas also can be supporting God to make the balance. At that time, for example, hardness is very strong, they should emphasize softness. Roughness is very strong, at that time, they should emphasize softness, etc. Eh? And smoothness. So in this way, if they try opposite characteristics to less oppose another opposite characteristics, then it may be also becoming normal. So this is also possible. But to cure cancer is another way. This is not easy. But it depends on their karma or plan or maybe by. So if they begin normal, if karma also finish, then this disease may disappear. But karma is still working up to that moment. Then it is not easy to cure. There are some teachers who are trying mental healing. Maybe this is also okay, not say exactly it will be okay or not. Hmm? Now this is a question on Rupa. While practicing, when practicing Rupa Kamatana, can a meditator use the reflection method to practice? That means to program the mind first and then slowly let the kalapas become obvious. I do not understand well the meaning of this question. But according to Buddha's teaching, number one, Sama Deng Bhikkhu Bhavita, Sama Hido Bhikkhu Bhikkhu Yadda Buddha Bhajanadi, etc. So first, every city re-established Samadha, Samadhi, especially Buddha emphasized both Khanna. In every city, you can re-establish your both Khanna. After that, you can practice systematically four elements meditation. If you practice four elements meditation systematically, you may see your whole body begin translucent body, like ice block. Other than please pay addition agasa, dadu, subbase element in that translucent body, then you can see glabas. This is system. But for those who had been practiced this system many times, if they be addition four elements, very quickly they will see Kalabha. For some meditators, if they be addition, if they had been already practiced any fourth jhana, as soon as they emerge from jhana, if they focus their body before, Practice and four elements of meditation also began clubbers because of previous practice. So, beginner and who had, who began experts are not easy to say exact meaning. For experts, as soon as they be addition their body, they can see clubbers everywhere. And for beginners, not easy, but for experts, it is very easy to see clubbers everywhere. Because of this reason, we cannot say exactly you must do this every day. If they had already seen Galabas, then their duty is to analyze those Galabas, to discern four elements in those Galabas, and to discern derivative materialities. This is their responsibility, to see ultimate materiality. But there says that I don't know what this program. <laughs> Again, the question on dependent origination. When practicing the dependent origination, what are the things that a student needs to be aware of or needs to master? 
Before practicing the dependent origination, how can one cultivate the wisdom of dependent origination in daily life? Maybe first they should try to understand the meaning of the dependent origination. Vijja, Vijja, Sankara, Sankara, Vijja, Vinyana, Vinyana, Vijja, Namarubha. So they should study thoroughly by learning knowledge first. And they should study the meaning. They, should, they must memorize every detail. It is better. If they do not understand anything, if they directly practice divine origination, it will take a long time. Because what are by aggregates, they do not understand clearly. In terms of birth, language, memory, how many mental formations are there, what is the object of those mental formations. So we must ask many questions. So it is better if they already understood how to do dependent origination, how to practice to understand the dependent origination by their own direct knowledge. If they had already understood by learning knowledge, one practicing practically to understand the dependent origination by their own direct knowledge, it will be easy. But usually for beginners, in every mind moment which rise according to such to mental process, they must do some fight agreement in detail, it is better. Or it is saying, it is saying, it is, if they jump, it is not good. They have different fight agreements and different characteristics. Because of this reason, if they get decent and detail, it is better. In the same way, for example, one sitting, if they get thoroughly decent, Five aggregates and bad legging my moment, cause and effect, dependent origination, while walking, while standing, or while lying down, also they should do in the same way. It is better. And then they will thoroughly understand the dependent origination in every bodily butcher. Then while sitting, if they can discern, Clearly, the dependent origination in unconsciousness, my moment, for example, five aggregates. While walking, while standing, while sitting, or while lying down also, this should discern what the relationship between cause and effect and the I do and unconsciousness, my moment, five aggregates. It is better. If they can do in this way slowly, then they will understand the dependent origination in every bodily posture. But if you want to understand the dependent origination by your own direct knowledge in every bodily posture, you must obey this rule. But you want to understand the dependent origination in every bodily butcher. But you do not practice according to the system. You practice only just no day. Bending, 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 stretching, 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 going, 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 going. In this way, if you know in an easy way, then you cannot understand the dependent origination. You cannot understand the meaning of dependent origination in detail. Then a uh, question on Vipassana. Seattle said sometimes we meditate on the internal, sometimes on the external, and sometimes on the internal and external. What are their differences? For beginners, if they want to contemplate internal, materiality and mentality. Usually for beginners, we teach to contemplate six toes separately, 42 parts separately. For example, in your Aindo, there are 63 types of materiality. You should contemplate these 63 types of 
Madhiradi as nature. If you satisfy nature, then you should continue to contemplate them as dhoka. If you satisfy them, you should continue to contemplate them as anatta. If you satisfy Aindho, then you should continue Yadho, Nostro, Dando, Bodhido, Maindho, respectively in the same way. Then Bodhido parts one by one in the same way. After that, all together six doors and all together Bodhido parts of body, materialities as a group, you should also contemplate as nature or Dukkha or Nanda. After that, then, if you have satisfaction, then you should go to Ishkana. In the same way, to contemplate those Ishkana materialities as nature or Dukkha or Nanda, in the same way, like internally. While contemplating in this way, from nearby internal Ishkana, such those input to parts finish. Then, Please continue a little bit far away and then it's going to say those in for the dupa. Then please a little bit far away. In this way, slowly increase the same area of it's going to up to infinite universe. If you had already contemplated all materialities together simultaneously, both internally and externally, at that time only you should continue to contemplate mentalities according to six two process. At the beginning you should discern internet six two mental process as nature to another. Then nearby is the six two mental process as nature to another. After that then please increase the same area a little bit. In this way, slowly you should increase each time you up to infinite universe. But when contemplated in this way, occasionally you should contemplate internal. Occasionally you should contemplate each time. Only if you contemplate internally, then we person inside cannot improve, cannot develop. Only if you contemplate externally, then we person inside also cannot develop. You must contemplate them both internally and externally for many times. But for beginners, once a day they should practice internally. Once a day they should practice externally. This is also possible. When they begin designing externally, Slowly from near to very far away. At that day, within one set day also, they can contemplate internet, materiality, and mentality. External mentality and materiality within one set day. This is, you, within one set day, if you can try both, then this is, you are contemplating mentality and materiality as nature to another, both internally and externally. If you, you can, for beginning stage, you can also do internally once a day or externally once a day, etc. This is also possible. If you begin expert while contemplating these formations as nature to another, then within once a day also both internally and externally you can do. This is internally and externally both you do simultaneously. Then the next question on psychic power. What is the purpose of teaching the Abhinyana by the Buddha? Can Abhinyana help in the practice of Samatha and Vipassana? Can Shadow please explain in details how each Abhinyana helps in the Samatha and Vipassana practice and vice versa? While practicing the dependent origination, usually many meditators understand. There is past life, there is, there will be future life, etc. But when, if the brightest bring a sex power, they understand their beginning point, 
for the attainment of arhatu. Beginning point is their wish. What is their wish? Under the guidance of which Buddha, they had already wished to begin such and such achievement, etc. They may understand this is also one reason. If they bring this divine and such power, they can understand the workings of karma very, very vividly and very, very clearly. They can understand the workings of karma not only for themselves, but also they can understand others' workings of karma. This is also one reason. Another reason is, in those days, they emphasize sex by what? Especially in the not Buddha. If they can show sex power, they have a lot of faith or a lot of confidence in the Buddha's teaching. Because of this reason also, occasionally Buddha also shows the sex power, such as to a miracle, to suppress the wrong view of to suppress the wrong view of maybe other religions. In Savuti, one day, Buddha shows to a miracle. After showing to, to a miracle, such power Buddha went to the Dauri Sattva to teach Abhidhamma. What is the reason? Many religious teachers they have a lot of prop to their teaching. To suppress their prop, Buddha also occasionally uses this miracle. But this is not a demit. This is not the final achievement. Final achievement in Buddha's dispensation is Arhatta food. So, to differentiate this Adiju also occasionally Buddha teaches such powers. But usually when we study many sodas, some meditators, especially in the of Buddha, if they practice a demons and fight mundane such powers, after that if they practice vipassana, they are vipassana begin very quick and they can understand very, very clearly. They can bigger or within one stroke. So because of such reasons, Buddha also occasionally teaches such power. But if a meditator also can practice, if he or she can control their mind, not to become fortune teller, <laughs> this is also helpful for higher attainment. But with the intention to become fortune teller, if they practice psych power, this is very dangerous. Like when a river divides that does psych power, it is not good. So, for some meditators, maybe I have to explain one lady in this, maybe 2011, huh? Forest Refuge Retreat. I had teach her uh, white casino abdu eight adimates. Anambana Abdu Pothjana. Then I teach her Madhiladi Madhidesi, then Madhiladi Madhidesi. After that, I teach her how to design dependent origination. But she did not yet satisfy. Although she practiced in every city, why could she not Abdu Pothjana? After that, designing ultimate Madhiladi and Madhiladi, why? Designing the dependent origination, she cannot see past ignorance, craving, clinging, original formations and karma potency. She trained for at least more than one week. So at the day, I taught to her in casinos eight attainments. After that, for the ways, then I teach her recollection of past life, sex power, bhavani vasa, nosri, abhinyana. 
Ubendi was a dosadi abhinjana regulation of past life. Understanding of five, past five aggregates also include Understanding of five clinging aggregates, past five clinging aggregates also include under this check power. The understanding of the different types of name, what is mother's name, what is father's name, etc. The understanding of different types of sukha, dukha, different types of food whether I have to be digging in past life during or not, etc. <laughs> so, which type of food I had been taking in this way, they may also understand only. Okay? What is benefit? Not so much benefit. Understanding of high clinging aggregates is good. This is the object of vipassana. Then divine insect power can understand the workings of karma, partially of external beings also. But we personal insect can understand as a general only, not specifically. But such power, divine insect power can understand the beings dependent origination or the workings of karma. Partially. Partially means no one person passed away. When he is contemplating, after that this person go to where he can see. And then, which karma produce do be rebo in such and such good play? Which karma produce do be rebo in such and such woeful state? He can see clearly. This is possibility. But he did not understand many past lives with the divine check power. Only just from present to future. It is okay. Then from past past life he can hear, from which past life he can hear, he can also understand partially. This is the power of divine and check power. The another check power is Deva Sada. Maybe this Yali and this Yali is talking to, about, talking about me. What are they talking? If she want to listen, it is okay. She can hear this song, present song. What is benefit? No much benefit. Huh? If she do not know, it is better going to do my own idea. <laughs> Whether they are saying good or bad, no problem. If you do not hear, it is better you can meditate thoroughly. The way Einstein Bauer can hear other sayings, other songs, etc. Very far away, Deva's songs also can understand, can hear. Then, Parachita Vijayana, this Einstein Bauer can reach others mind. Maybe if you become a meditation teacher, whether this student is robot, Robot is true or not, you can check. Because you can read meditators' mind. It is good. It is helpful. Because there are some students who are telling lies. So very dangerous. Then, Edi Vida Abhinyana. Edi Vida Abhinyana is playing in this guy, showing different types of wonderful things. This is Ajivita Vijnana. That meditator who possess Ajivita Vijnana can create different objects. Wonderful objects such as like Penariva, Diva, Dada. So this is also Buddha usually for big goods. Buddha does not permit to show this such by such such power, wonderful such power. He permit only data needy. When listening to my hmm? Umegala asked me this question. When listening the Dhamma other than he want to show hell, then he do data na. may listen as you can see the hell, etc. Such type of data na is okay. 
Again, if he want to show Deva what, then he can do Deva may listeners can see Deva what, etc. Such type of Sakya Bhava Buddha also permit. So all together there are five mundane Sakya Bhava. A little bit better is maybe Bhava Nivasa, Deva Chaku, and then Ride Adas Mai Prachita Vinjanana. These three are good. Deva Soda and maybe showing different Sakya Bhava. This is not so good. It is a little bit dangerous. Dangerous means for like penari but you want that. If they cannot use in a proper way, it is very dangerous. If it can be for Jung Tela, this is also very dangerous. Today, let us stop here. Share hmm? a Idame bonya aswe kya waha hodu idame bonya naibana sa pachyo hodu idame bonya saba sadana pajema Tisabhi me samam Ponya bhaga labandu sabhi